Here's a short overview of how far I got with my 61 Chevy Impala. Um, didn't get too far, I focused on the body. Got the body painted and cleared. And right now it's in the middle of sanding and buffing. Um, obviously I didn't, didn't get far enough to, you know, throw it together or really make it look like anything. Um, kind of stalled out when I cleared it. I put probably too much clear. And I think I, um, probably, um, rounded off the edges too much for, um, putting any bare metal foil on it. Um, I don't think I'm going to have a sharp line to really give my, uh, bare metal foil a sharp edge. So, um, I think I stalled out there. I don't know if I'll keep going with it or strip it and start over. Um, pretty, pretty anal about things like that. Um, I got plenty of Impalas. I even went and bought another one of these to see if I can't, you know, respray another one in time, but uh, I didn't. So either I'll give up on this one and start another one and not put so much bare metal fo uh, or clear clear coat on it, or or what I was gonna do next time is try one coat of clear to seal it and then put my bare metal foil and then finish putting the clear coat on it. Um, see how that turns out. But as you can see, I did the uh, photo etch emblems and then I cleared over those and I thought they would get buried. But uh, it don't look like they they buried and that doesn't look too realistic so I think next time I'll I'll give uh, putting them on afterwards. See if I can't do a clean enough job. I just worried about uh, super glue or anything, you know, getting smeared around and making it look bad. But I think next time I might try afterwards and take my chances. Um, get the the photo etch in the emblems and or in the back. I'm not sure how well I think a decal would have done a lot better on those. Um, did the back too. You can see the, it didn't really need buffing probably. A couple pieces of dirt but The chassis, I did the chassis first. That turned out all right. Um, started getting carried away with cutting up, trying to do the right height. Um, right now I got pins in there to uh, set the right height. And the front and back. The front I ended up putting in a whole different um, setup. Uh, I think that was off of 60 Impala. Uh, and that's kind of sloppy right now, but it worked. Would work, and you know. There's one of the resin engines that I have. Um, this is more of a mock up engine, you know, one that I already had done, but just to see how well it fit. And um, without doing, you know, the whole whole full kit and caboodle engine. Um, it looks like it fits pretty good. Um, this time I got the hood to shut on this one. Um, I did have to drill out my intake to set the distributor down in further. Um, I don't know. I guess it's just hard to, to scale them. But it might be too, too tall. 
I'm in the distributor shaft, so if anybody else gets these, they might want to try the same thing. Um, but this one sits all the way against the firewall. You know, got plenty of room with that one. Um, uh, yeah. All right, well, I guess that's it. I mean, that's that's as far as I got. You know, nothing, nothing too fancy. But, all right, well, yeah, maybe it, it's going to take longer than three or four months to build one of these things. I haven't really finished a model. Um, so I just thought, you know, doing a contest would have, it'd give me the motivation, incentive to, to finish something, but. Well, I got plenty of other stuff to keep me busy, so uh, I guess I'll keep working on that stuff and tinker with the models every once in a while, but stay tuned for more. We'll, we'll see more of this car. I, like I said, I bought another kit, so something will get done. Thanks.